and if you see the op-amp, okay, if we see the equivalent circuit of op-amp, equivalent circuit, okay, so op-amp, what is the internal structure, internal structure means what is needed for us for analysis, uh, solving problems, okay. So I told this is the plus terminal, this is the minus terminal. Now between this plus and minus terminal, okay, when I say this plus minus terminal here, here is a register. Plus minus, here is a register called RI. RI is what? RI is the input resistance when you are applying B plus here, B minus here. This is the input resistance here and there is a one more output resistance also there. So if you see here we have a voltage source, dependent voltage source plus minus and this is grounded. It should come ins inside this one, okay? It will be a little bigger. So this is here. And here we have a resistance R0. R0. And here I'm taking the voltage. So this is basically R not R input R output resistance. It is R I. Dikhra hai na? Chota hai na? R I R plus. And this is your difference of this one voltage gain A V I D. This is the value of this voltage source is A V I D. Okay. So whatever difference we will apply. A multiplied by that difference will be this voltage. This, this this voltage dependent voltage source will give you the voltage. This equal to VID A into VID, and this is the R naught. Some voltage will be lost here. Remaining you get V naught here, and this is R infinite. Okay. Now I told you if for for ideal op amp for ideal op amp this is OL VID. Okay. For ideal op amp. AOL is generally very high, so we take we we call it infinite. It's very high, ten to the power five to the six, and and the input resistance number one. And second input resistance also infinite. Input resistance uh, which is we called RI. That is also infinite. Input resistance also infinite and R not output resistance. Output resistance R not is almost equal to zero. Okay. So if it is zero, no voltage drop will here. So now your V not will be A. VID this voltage will be this voltage R naught is zero because that's why I told you this the voltage is A VID if this R zero and if R infinite zero R R I is infinite this is very infinite so the here current cannot pass current cannot go inside the op amp in open in this inverting non terminal terminal that is I plus is always zero. I minus is also zero. Okay. I plus is also zero. I minus is also zero. So these are the properties of of this op amp. We'll discuss something, some some more, some more things which we require for our for problem solving.
So this R I is infinite. R infinite means you can treat it as open. When it is open, no current can come here. Okay. And here voltage is zero, so this V naught is your A equal to V I D. If you understood, then I will go to next. Is there any question? Leo? Tamanna? Not okay. Okay. So I'm going to the next. So R input is infinite. This is infinite. It is, is open. No current can go here. This is R zero. So you get this voltage equal to here voltage. This equal to voltage. And open loop gain is infinite. Now let us discuss how to solve, how to deal op amp in the circuits. And it's very easy. If you understand some of things, op amp is very easy. Okay. So let us discuss what is how to deal op amp. So op amp can be used in three configurations in the circuit configurations. Okay. One is called open loop open loop configuration. Okay, that is what we have done like this. This is called op and you're getting a V output. This is the open loop configuration. You apply V plus here, you apply V minus here. Here power supplies are there, VCC and minus VCC. So your V naught will be AOL, VID, and when difference become very high, it becomes saturated to VCC. Okay, so this is AOL VID. And whenever your V out, uh, so if whenever difference is very high, this is will saturate to the VCC. Okay. This is open open loop configuration. Generally, VID is positive, it is VCC, VID is negative for ideal. VID is positive, this is VCC, VID negative, this is minus VCC. Second is your closed loop configuration. Close loop configuration. Closed loop configuration means you have plus, this is uses your minus plus. This will be grounded. A feedback will be present. Oh, called closed loop means there will be feedback. So this is your RF. This is R1. And you're applying V input. Okay. So you because you're applying and this, this is a V naught. Because here some feedback is coming. You're applying some input, you're getting some output, and the output is the some portion of output. Okay, this V naught is getting divided here and here, and some portion is going to the negative negative uh, inverting the inverting terminal. So this is called negative feedback. Negative feedback. Call negative feedback okay so this is a oh, closed loop this one is negative feedback one is there a positive feedback that means feedback is coming negative terminal is grounded and feedback is coming to the negative terminal you're applying some V input here. So this is example of positive feedback. Okay. Now whenever used in positive feedback, if you want to make an oscillator, you have to use in positive feedback. Okay. Hmm. Smith trigger. And most and many of the applications comes in the negative feedback. Okay, some application this also have some applications. So basically, three three ways we will go to use the open open loop when there is no feedback, when there is a negative feedback, and when there is a positive wake. There is a three type of uh, circuits, three type of uh, way we can use open in the circuit, and we can have a different type of applications. Okay, and now we'll discuss first negative feedback.
then positive feedback and open loop uh, together we'll see the last okay because so negative feedback feedback has many applications so let us start with a negative feedback now you have to understand one more thing whenever i am using in the open in the negative feedback okay this is a negative feedback example inverting amplifier okay now you how to use uh, open in the circuit so you have to use if you think now keep it in if you think in the mind because you know that this is actually IV characteristics of VID. This is IV characteristics of my OPAM. Okay, we already seen this one. So you are what happens? You are output saturates. Okay. Now there are two cases. One there is a output is not saturating. Okay. So when whenever my output B output is between minus VCC to plus VCC. That means not saturating, not saturating. Okay. And my op-amp is ideal. Op-amp is ideal. Okay. This I'm talking about the closed loop. This for I'm talking about a closed loop. One true for open loop also. Because the difference you cannot apply much. Difference is very small. Now what happens if I write my V naught? V naught is what? V naught is A O L V I D. And now I say open is ideal. That means my A O L is infinite. If A O L is infinite, then what will happen? V I D become V naught upon A O L, and V naught A O L is infinite. So this becomes almost almost zero. Ten to five, ten to four. Divide this point, this becomes almost zero. And our VID is what? VID is VID is V plus V minus. Okay, and this also becomes almost zero. That is V plus equal to V minus. That means the voltage almost equal to V minus. So that is the first thing you have to use while solving the circuit. If output is not saturating, that, that means you are here in this range. In this range, VID is very small. The difference is very small, so we take it almost equal. Okay, we take the voltage at the V plus and V minus will be always same when the when this is not saturating. Now, if it is saturating, it can be anything. The difference can be very high. So the difference between V plus V minus will be all. So we'll take all, always same. And number two point we have I have already discussed. So this is called a virtual ground concept. Virtual ground concept means if one is zero, other will be also zero. One is five, other will be also five. Virtual ground means both will be same. Same. So this is called virtual ground concept. This property is called a virtual. ground concept a uh, virtual ground concept means vgc so vgc is applicable whenever your output is not saturating okay if it is saturating then it is not applicable so i am writing here vgc is applicable only when 
ओपैम पीस आइडियल ओपैम पीस आइडियल दैट इज ए ओ एल इज इनफाइनाइट एंड वी नॉट इज नॉट आउटपुट इज नॉट इज नॉट इन सेचुरेशन आउटपुट इज नॉट इन सेचुरेशन इन दैट केस इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल एंड आउटपुट नॉन इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल बोथ है सेम वोल्टेज एंड एंड सेकेंड इज एज आई टोल्ड यू फॉर आइडियल ओपैम फॉर आइडियल ओपैम एंड इवन एंड एंड इवन फॉर practical op amps practical op amp whether it is a even that is a ideal or uh, practical that means aol can be infinite aol may not be infinite r input is always all, all, always very high in mega ohm okay ri r input of op amps very high i told ri is the mega ohm in in mega ohm so whenever ri in fact is i can say i plus Equal to I minus equal to zero. Inverting a non terminal does not draw any ter terminal. No, no draw any draws any current. Okay, so invert inverting and non inverting terminal terminals do not draw. do not draw any current because in between they are open now we'll discuss the applications if anyone is out they can i can ask deepak Are you getting what I'm saying? Or morning me? All of you are asleep. Can you hear me, Deepak? Yes, sir. Sound me? Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm erasing this one. Let us discuss now applications. now first thing is negative feedback negative feedback number 1 is inverting amplifier inverting amplifier okay now inverting amplifier means this will be or oh, first will first we take non inverting amplifier non inverting non inverting amplifier so you have plus here minus here minus is grounded and the feedback is negative r 1 r rf and here you have v not here you are applying B input. Okay, generally we'll take R one here. Now, I am going to get the formula. I'm going to solve this inverting amplifier output formula for closed loop. In closed loop, open loop you already know. Okay. what to do now i am going to if it is a closed loop what is the formula for v not now <coughs> first first case op amp is ideal so when i say aol is infinite op amp is ideal ideal case and and 
practical case both the things we'll see op-amp is ideal first case if op-amp is ideal the property says the voltage at v plus and v minus will be zero so if this is zero this will be also zero volt okay and it does not draw any current no current will go here so what i what i can write now if i say here incoming current is say i1 and outgoing current is if you can write like this also and any anyway, direction you can write anything but it will be true okay so and now so what i can write i can say i1 because no current is going here i plus is zero i minus is zero no current is going here so whatever current is coming here is going there so i can say <coughs> i1 equal to if okay first v plus v plus v minus is zero v plus and v minus both are zero this is by virtual ground concept vgc applying vgc and now i1 equal to if i1 is what v input minus zero by r and this is zero minus v naught upon rf so my v naught become what my v naught become minus rf by r into v input okay and the gain closed loop gain closed loop gain is what is v naught what is v input is equal to minus rf by r this is the formula for closed loop is that is that correct or i have a mistake just wait one minute don't 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 this one so this is your uh this is your plus this is the minus and this is not in because i i given the feedback to the positive i want to give it negative feedback na? negative feedback is this one and this and this is inverting this is inverting amplifier correct it please so this is for inverting amplifier the formula for v naught is minus rf by r closed loop gain inverting means non inverting terminal is ground and you're giving input to the inverting terminal that's why it is called inverting amplifier have you seen this formula before leo yes sir. yes sir so ye ho gaya aapka inverting amplifier op ideal now we'll see the sir uh, what is the r which r this r1 r1 this one okay sir r1 so this is the formula for gain now this is the op amp is ideal now second i will see inverting amplifier now now see when op amp is practical then what is the formula op amp is practical practical means now aol is not infinite aol is finite finite means it can be 20 30 if it's if it is very high it's not very high if it's very high then it become almost ideal now i say aol is finite in that case what is the formula for closed loop gain that we are going to calculate a second case is second case the circuit is same and now aol is finite so when aol is finite then this vgc does not apply okay so this vgc does not apply so here voltage is v minus this voltage is v plus v plus of course zero but v minus is not zero okay now we can solve this is v minus now let us solve so when i say aol is finite that means vgc not applicable applicable but i plus i minus zero 
always applicable always applicable that is these properties always applicable so again i can write i1 equals to if current is not going so i1 is equal to if but this time is this is not zero so i write v input minus v minus upon r1 is equal to v1 minus v naught upon rf now solve this one simplify and solve this one what is coming so this is the equation and you have to remember one more thing that your this is the this is the voltage is this terminal so when a voltage is terminal is there what is the output will come so output will come okay aol vid now aol is finite it's not infinite v not vid So, and now I can write, sorry, A, uh, VID, sorry, AOL is, uh, V0 is AOL VID, okay? And I can write AOL VID is your V plus minus V minus, and V plus is what? V plus is zero, so this is AOL minus V minus, because V plus is zero, this is the V0 value. okay so here i want v input v naught so i can write i can put the value of v minus is equal to minus v naught upon a v uh, aol aol in this equation and you can solve and you can calculate you can find what is the actual uh, closed loop gain for this circuit put the value here and calculate Put the V minus value here and solve and find what is closed loop gain. So let us solve now. This is the equation one, this is the equation two. Let's clear something, Karishma, have you done? Yes, sir, I have done. So I am rubbing this one. So put the values here. So V input minus 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 plus V naught AOL upon R1 is equal to v minus that is minus v naught upon aol minus v naught upon rf okay so let us solve this one and what is coming we will see what is the formula for closed loop gain so multiply this here so this become rf v input plus rf v naught aol here minus r1 v naught aol minus r1 v naught okay 
bring v not term one side and v input term on the other side okay so what i can write rf v input is equal to v not common this will give you rf okay rf by aol rf by aol this will come this side na this will show so minus so you take minus common so rf upon aol plus r1 upon aol plus r1 okay and now divide by uh, you want you want v not upon uh, v input so close loop uh, close loop gain is v not upon v input and that will be equal to what rf minus rf upon rf AOL plus R1 AOL plus R1 okay if you solve it further what you can write AOL can go up okay so this closed loop gain formula will become minus RF AOL okay and this will become your r1 plus rf plus r1 into aol and now what i'm going to do i am going to divide this this up and by r1 plus rf so a closed loop gain i'm writing as a rf divide by r1 plus rf aol and this become 1 plus r1 r1 plus rf aol by, by writing in this way either you remember this is the form this is also formula but i want to write in a simpler more simpler form so i'm dividing by <laughs> this one so now this will become what now this is my v naught sum of v naught is getting absorbed here used here and whatever voltage is going here this voltage is getting divided here and here and this is going this is going as a feedback okay if i want to find what is the com what is the what is the value of v naught going here i will make it zero superposition principle what is the voltage v minus here because of this one and this one if I want to find the contribution because of V minus because of this one, I'll make it zero superposition principle. If I, if I want to find the v value of V naught in here, I'll make this zero and find a contribution. So that will be feedback. So what I say R1 upon R1 plus RF, this ratio is called beta feedback factor. It's called feedback factor okay and similarly some voltage is using rf so rf upon r1 plus rf is called k k means attenuation factors some voltage of output is used here attenuation factor it is written it is a feedback register but this is here voltage use here voltage what is voltage reaching this voltage when you would make ground because this one this is the feedback voltage here ratio voltage divider what is coming here that is going as a feedback that you don't do not do mistake okay so this is now put the value here you will get the simpler simpler formula for this one so now what will become my closed loop formula becomes minus k aol 1 plus beta AOL is the closed loop formula for for finite for finite 
AOL, whenever AOL, AOL is not high, it is 100, 80, 90, 10, 20, not 10 to the power 5, 6. Then you, you have to use this formula for closed, uh, closed loop, closed loop, gain, otherwise, otherwise it is simple, minus RF upon R1. Okay. Now this formula should approach to the ideal formula. If I put AOL, AOL is equal to infinite, so we'll see whether this formula is approaching the uh, actual thing or not. Now put the AOL infinite in this and see what is happening. So this formula also can be written as a closed loop gain equal to K upon one upon AOL plus beta. I can write also like this divided by AOL. Now put AOL is infinite. If I put a AOL is infinite, okay, then what will become, this term will become 0, so A closed loop again will become minus K 1 by infinite beta, so this become minus K, this term will become 0, so this is minus K by beta, okay, and I'll put the value of K and beta, see what formula is coming. So closed loop gain will become minus K, K means RF upon R1 plus RF and beta is what? Beta is R1, R1 plus RF. Both cancels out. So this is coming, you getting same formula RF equal to R1. This is for AOL is infinite. This is finite, this is for infinite. This formula will approach to the, this formula. You can check it. Shekhar? Is that clear? Sure. Clear? Sure. Saravanti, is there any question? So we have found a closed loop gain formula for inverting amplifier. Okay. Now same thing we are going to do for non-inverting amplifier. Now put the second heading. <coughs> non-inverting. So shall I erase this one? So now let us first draw, let me draw the non-inverting amplifier. हाँ बोलिए सो नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर इस बॉट नॉन नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर छोटा ही बनाते हैं माइनस विल बी ग्राउंडेड माइनस विल बी ग्राउंडेड एंड यू अप्लाई इनपुट एट द positive terminal so let me make uh let me draw this like this because i have to be i have to be negative feedback also now so this is here i will give the input v input and here this will be grounded and this will be grounded how to make ground this one this will be grounded r1 r f So, so negative feedback is there, but this time now input I am applying at the non-inverting terminal because I am applying it non-inverting terminal. This is called non-inverting amplifier. And now we will find a, a value for close to gain for this one. Okay. Now first case, AOL is infinite. Okay. That is ideal op amp. Ideal op amp case. I'll find AOL is infinite. So whenever AOL is infinite, AOL is infinite, AOL is infinite says 
b plus is equal to b minus and now here what is the value of b plus b plus value is b input okay so this will be equal to v input whatever input you apply so v input will goes here and now again you just write the loop equation okay say this current is coming from here or you can say opposite also no no issue so this current going here to here and it's going here say this is i1 say this is if so you can say i1 equal to if and now i1 will be what v naught minus v input upon sorry i1 is v input minus 0 upon r1 and then if is v naught minus v input upon rf just solve it solve this one and find the closed loop gain so this you can write v input upon r1 plus v input upon rf equal to v naught upon rf okay and now if you take v input common this will become uh, r1 plus rf upon r1 rf and and this is your v naught upon rf cancels out okay so my v naught become r1 r1 plus rf sorry v naught v naught by v input v naught by v input will become what this is 1 plus rf upon r1 and this is my closed loop gain okay this is my closed loop gain equal to 1 plus rf by r1 for ideal for aol is infinite ideal open closed loop gain Now, same way you, you can do it for practical op-amp. How to do it for it for practical op-amp? Do it for practical. Second case, I will take practical op-amp. Practical op amp that is aol is finite okay aol is finite now again we will drive the formula Since EOL is finite, is finite, B plus is not equal to V minus. Okay. So this is not equal. So this is V input here and here some B minus will be there. Okay. I plus I current is always zero. So still we can apply the same thing. Now, tell me what should I write here? So you can again write same thing V naught minus V minus upon RF 
ओके वी नॉट माइनस वी मैं आर एफ इज इक्वल टू वी माइनस जीरो अपॉन आर वट ओके एंड यू आल्सो नो यू कैन यू कैन आल्सो नो द वैल्यू ऑफ वट वैल्यू ऑफ वी नॉट इज ए ओ एल वी आई डी ए ओ एल वी आई डी इज वी प्लस माइनस वी माइनस ओके दिस वी नॉट एंड वी नॉट ए ओ एल v plus is equal to this time v input v input v minus zero okay this is zero now I can calculate the v minus value and I can put it here so I can find the uh, relation very easily okay so here this implies what is the value of v minus here v minus is equal to tell me what is the value of v v not upon r1 plus rf into r1 is that correct if i solve this one ye aayega ki nahi aayega bhi ye voltage kya ja raha hai ye voltage yahan yahan divide ho raha hai total current is going to current is going here so total resistance are two resistance so voltage voltage division i directly i can write or you can solve this one okay so v uh, 1 by rf plus r1 so what will come uh, rm plus rf r cut cancel this correct b minus yes sir ho raha hai ho raha hai ho raha hai ab isko yahan rakh do bas ab isko kya le sakte ho isko kya le sakte ho this is r1 upon r1 plus rf into v not this is what beta r1 is beta beta v not बीटा वी नॉट ऐसा लिखने से सिंपल सॉल्व हो जाएगा बस इसको वी माइनस इक्वल टू वी माइन बेसिकली इट इज अ फीडबैक वोल्टेज वी माइनस इज फीडबैक वोल्टेज नाउ दिस टाइम इज जीरो इट इज अ फीडबैक वोल्टेज पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ फीडबैक वोल्टेज बीटा फ्रैक्शन ऑफ वी नॉट हियर एंड यू सॉल्व यू विल कैलकुलेट द दिस वन टू द यू गेट सिंपल फार्मूला सो वी नॉट इज व्हाट हियर V not is basically A O L V input beta V not okay and now I'm taking beta V not here so V not into one plus A O L beta A O L beta is equal to V input V input A O L and this gives me the v output upon v input this is the aol upon 1 plus aol beta this is my closed loop gain formula now this also should approach is the ideal case this formula also i can write what a closed loop i can write as a 1 upon 1 by aol plus beta and now if i aol is approaching to infinite so closed loop gain will approach to 1 by beta and which is nothing it is equal to R one plus R F upon R one, okay, which is nothing, which is equal to a closed loop gain is equal to one plus R F by R one. So the same. This is for A O L infinite. 
this is for AOL why not this is inverting and non inverting amplifier so we will stop here continue tomorrow thank you Thank you, sir.